everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer and today I want to talk about Pokemon, specifically the Pokemon centers in Japan. Um, I did a video of a Pokemon center tour. Um, it got really popular. Um, I didn't really look to see how it was doing, but it got uh, some really good views. So since the tour did pretty well, um, I thought I would share, you know, the details of a Pokemon Center and what you can buy there and what preferably I like to buy there. So I'll be talking about that today. Don't forget to subscribe if you are interested in learning about Japan and other things pertaining to Japan and also give this video a like. In the previous video, which I will tag up here somewhere, um, I did a tour of the Osaka Pokemon Center. Um, and you know, it's Pokemon Center is pretty small. Um, they're not too big. Um, they're just the right size though. And it's something that can be done in like 30 minutes to an hour, depending on what kind of shopper you are. Um, literally that's what it's there for, is to shop. There are also sometimes these like games that you could do or some gacha pawns, but other than that, it's a lot of spending money pretty much, um, which is why I always tell people to bring a lot of money when you go to Japan if you're a Pokemon fan, because once you go to a Pokemon Center, your wallet will be hurt so badly. Oh my gosh. I can easily spend about $50 in a Japanese Pokemon Center. Just saying. I even get friends who give me money and they can either, you know, tell me what they want from the Pokemon Centers or um, I kind of do from off of the top of my head, you know, what their interests are. So like one friend likes a lot of uh, things that are very useful. How dare you? So one friend for sure I know he loves useful things. He doesn't like anything that just kind of sits there. He wants it to have a purpose. So like I would give him stuff like these cute bowls that you can get at the Pokemon Center. Um, this particular one um, is my husband's that I'm using as an example. This is when Mimikyu was on the rage. Mimikyu's still on the rage, but Mimikyu and then Pikachu. So I would give my friends something like this, something very useful. He can eat his cereal in, just like my husband does. Um, anything useful like that. I have another friend who, you know, gives me money sometimes, but he doesn't really tell me what he wants because he doesn't really know what's there. So I mostly go by his favorite Pokemon, which his favorite Pokemon are Gengar and Greninja. So when I went over there, I got him, you know, a little Gengar plushie and I think I got him like a Greninja case that holds like the, um, the Switch games or something like that. So very useful things that I thought my friends would enjoy. Um, you can get various items there. You can get stuff like these filing folders. Um, these are really popular. There's so many of them when you go into a Pokemon Center. So many to choose from. Um, this was actually gifted to me by a friend. He knows that I love fire Pokemon. Fire types for the win! Um, so he got me this filing folder that has fire, fire types on it. Um, I'm currently using it. It has papers in it. But yeah, so these are really useful too. They have notebooks, all sorts of things. Um, you can have a ton of fun with it. And not only that, but when you go to a Pokemon Center in Japan, not all Pokemon Centers are created equally. There are several Pokemon Centers located in Japan, so you really can't just go to one and be done. You have to go to as many as possible. Um, and I went to quite a few of them. Um, my most memorable ones are Osaka, Kyoto, and Hiroshima. I got this shirt, the Hiroshima Carps. Um, it was a collaboration with the baseball team over there and the Pokemon Center. So I got this cool t-shirt of a Magikarp with the baseball bat. So cool. I needed to get this shirt. I saw it and I was like, 
that's going to be mine. So that is one thing to consider when going to a Pokemon Center. I've actually never been to the Pokemon Centers in Tokyo slash Yokohama. So that's on my to-do list when I ever get the chance. But, um, so I've been to other ones too and they were really nice. But so yeah, they will have special items just for that location. So you really gotta go to, you know, whatever locations have the special items. Cause like I said, you're not gonna get all the same items in one spot. So shop around. But now I would like to show you some of my favorite things that I love to get when I go to the Pokemon Center. Um, so let's get started on that. I want to show you my plushie collection. Most of you possibly do not know. This is usually my background when I talk, but I'm usually sitting down. So I don't think y'all can see the top shelf, but the top shelf is nothing but plushies from anything and everything, anything that I love. And I have some figures up there too, but mostly plushies and it's a lot. And the collection is getting a little bit crazy, but I can't help it. I love Pokemon so much, especially the really cute ones. And if they're fire types, then that's even more of a plus. So um, I go a little crazy when I go shopping. And so I want to show you my favorite Pokemon Center Pokemon plushies. So these are my favorites. As you can tell, a lot of them are fire type Pokemon. But I also have some really um, cute ones that I really love, such as Emolga and um, Minchino. And I also have the Alolan version of Vulpix, which is an ice type. I love Vulpix my number one favorite Pokemon in the world. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, um, I do have doubles of some, such as uh, Growlithe and such as the Alolan Vulpix, but you can tell that they're a little bit different. They're slightly different. Um, they have, you know, different themes of plushies when you go over there. The Growlithe one has ones where it's sleeping and it's laying down, it's so cute. And then I have just a regular Growlithe plushie. So you really can shop around for all sorts of different kind of plushies in different styles. Um, at one point, the, uh, the Ditto Face Pokemon were really, really popular. Um, so that was a thing. So you could have gotten plushies of like your favorite Pokemon in Ditto form. So that was really, really cool. Another one of my favorite purchases that I got was my Flareon towel. It's so cute. Look at the Flareon. So I love Flareon. It's my favorite evolution. Fight me. But I needed to get a towel while I was in Japan because a lot of public restrooms do not have like any kind of paper towels or anything like that. So you need to really pack one of these in your bag when you're going around because once you're done washing your hands, you need something to dry your hands with. So I bought this in the Pokemon Center because I was like, if I'm gonna buy a hand towel, it's gonna be a cute one. So I got a Pokemon one, no shame, no shame. My next item, well items, that I would like to show are some jewelry pieces that I got in the Kyoto Pokemon Center last summer. Um, they were so cute, I could not, not buy them. <laughs> um, first are these really cute Pokemon Pikachu earrings. Um, and I'll put a picture of all these up, um, so that way you can see close with me uh, actually wearing them. And then I also got a cute Butterfree necklace that I really, really like. Um, both of these are so cute. Um, Obviously I can't wear them to work because it's a little bit unprofessional to have Pokemon jewelry on, but um, it's definitely something that I like to have on for the weekends or a special occasion. I just want to, you know, geek it up a little. And then other things that I've bought before, like I bought a planner from the Pokemon Center before, but um, I don't have that anymore because it's outdated and no longer valid. But you can get a bunch of things from the Pokemon Center. Um, those are just a few of the things I really enjoy buying at the Pokemon Center. There are various amounts of things. Once again, you can check the Pokemon Center tour to see exactly what they have. Um, 
They really come out with new things all the time. Not only when a new generation of Pokemon comes out, but even seasons. There are seasonal themed items that you can get in Japan. So in the tours um, video, I went around November. So there were a lot of like Christmassy, wintry kind of stuff going on. So that's a good time to get some of that. And then for the summer, you can find some really cute summer items um, that you could get there too. And then Kyoto, the Kyoto, Kyoto Pokemon Center has a lot of Kyoto, you know, uh, themed items. So you'll have like Pikachu in a kimono with like maybe like some like little mochi that he's eating or dango. So, you know, really cute stuff. I did have an Eevee pen that was super cute, but this thing chewed it and ate it up. You're bad. I love him, but he's bad. He eats my things. Go. So what you gonna do? So those were a few things that I bought from the Pokemon Centers in Japan um, throughout the years. Um, I really enjoy going to the Pokemon Center every time I go, uh, even if it's for a quick stop, but it's usually not a quick stop. It's usually me debating what I should be buying and really trying to be self-conscious about how much money I spend. It's well worth it. The quality of the items are really, really good and just really unique. And like I said, beware of your wallet. It will cry at the end of your trip if you go to a Pokemon Center. I promise you, my wallet cries all the time. But anyway, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.